Hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Iris. Good evening. Good evening, too. How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling okay. All right. That's good to know. Anyway, how, I mean, what did you do this week? This week? Yes. I had a lot of tests. A lot of tests? Yes. OMG. <laughs> you, must, you must be tired already. Are you tired? Oh, I... Yes. <laughs> now it's okay we will um this ca this class will be um quick just quick so that you can rest after this all right so shall we proceed to our class what we will start our class now okay okay all right for our um for our warm up Tonight, I want you to read the short story, okay? Okay. Okay, all right, let's start. Okay, Iris, I want you to start here. Carla looked at the her in surprise. She can't believe that the thing before her eyes is a car. As a name, a big car. She is very happy because it likes the car so much. Right, the car so much. On her life, she wishes to have her own car. And so she writes this in her diary. But it is a dream come true. She bought a car with her own money and promised to take care of it. Now the morning after, she is very excited to wake up and drive her new car to work. All right, great job. Now, Iris, I want you to please repeat this word, wished. Wished. Okay, very good. And for that, I give you a well done star <laughs> this is new it's award it's an award all right now let's go to test one reading you are done answering this right right okay now we will um, check your answers okay so what is your answer in number six? Oh, wait i will open my notebook Okay, I will wait. Uh, number six is letter C. C, how about number seven? The seven letter D. D, and eight? Eight letter B. B. Nine? Nine letter F. F, and ten? And ten letter G. G. All right, let's check your answer. Okay, for a while. Can you hear me? Oh, you turn, you unmute, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I forgot to unmute. Okay, so for this part, you only got one correct. Okay, but it's okay. Um, we will just um, read uh, the sentences and then uh, 
with with its cor corresponding correct answers. Okay, so let's start with number six. Okay, so I want you to, I will read first. Okay, I will read first the short description of, uh, of the people and I want you to read its corresponding uh, film. Okay, for example, number six is letter C. I will read first number six and then you will read letter C, okay? Iris, do you have a question? No question. Okay, so let's start with number six. Joe is studying art at university. She usually goes to the cinema on Friday evenings. She enjoys films that are based on real life and from which she can learn something. Okay, so now I will I want you to read letter C. Letter C the ends of the earth. That's a story based on a real life journey to the South Pole. This film contains some quick one for wildlife photography. Make sure you see it it's while you have the chance. I argue be sorry. All right. Great. Now please Iris repeat this sentence. Quite wonderful wildlife photography. Quite wonderful wildlife photography. Okay. Uh, this word, one more time, photography. Photography. All right, much better. Okay, how about num number seven? So the answer is F. Sheila. Oh, anyway, it's letter C for number six because of the keyword based on a real life and from which she can learn something. Okay, that is the keyword. Okay, number seven. Sheila has decided to take her mother to the cinema for her birthday. They both like love stories that have happy endings. Okay, take note, love stories and happy endings. Okay, now let's read letter F. F, a tennis ball. Don't forget your handkerchief for this story of a young college boy and girl who managed to wait on the pressures of modern life and what an unforgettable wedding skin. Okay, great. Now, Iris, please repeat the word manage. Manage. And pressures. Pressures. Okay, very good. So, um, it's... Okay, for a while. So love stories in happy endings. Okay, this is also. Happy ending, okay. Wedding scene is the happy ending. Okay, now number eight. Brian is a hardworking medical student. He doesn't he doesn't have very much free time, but he likes going to the cinema to relax and enjoys a good laugh. So, a good laugh. What do you think is the genre when you want to have a good laugh? Iris. Oh. My friends make me laugh. Yes, laugh. What, yes, what laugh. do you think? What my you, friends, my friends make me laugh. Your friends make you laugh? Yeah. Okay. But my question is, what do you think is the genre of the film? Mm. 
when you say you want to laugh? Funny movie. Okay, do you still remember the genres? We have romantic, romantic comedy, action. What else was that? Do you still remember that? No? Uh, Oh, it's no. not here anymore. It's okay. So genres are action, rom romance, comedy, romantic comedy, um, scientific, uh, science fiction, and fantasy. Still remember? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So number eight is the letter... G. Okay, please read letter G. Letter G. A private party. A wonderfully funny company which takes place in 1940. One a reporter and his wife and his and his war and his very worried wife tried to save a ship from a local butcher. The actors really makes the most of this of this clear words. Okay, please repeat these words. Clever script. Clever script. And this one also you can say nineteen forties. 1940. Very good. All right. So um, the keyword here is comedy. Okay. Something that uh, a good laugh. Okay. So let's move on to number nine. Adam wants to take his eight year old son, Mark, to the cinema at the weekend. They want to see a film with plenty of excitement. Okay. So keyword eight year old son. Plenty of excitement. Okay, so the answer for number nine is letter D. Please read Island of Fire. Island of Fire. You can expect to kill a snake, scenery, and lots of crews in this ancient park story, in which a young sea catcher rescues terrified villagers from a volcanic island in the South Seas. Okay, very good. Excitement. So it's a action packed. Number 10. Harry and Joyce go to the cinema about twice a month. They particularly like detective stories and do not pay much attention to which actors are in the film. So keywords are detective stories and not pay attention to which actors are in the film. So number 10, it's letter B. Please read, and tomorrow we find you. And tomorrow we find you. A fast moving adult story about a sin, physical policeman in danger, based on a real life happening. It keeps you guessing right until the last minute, adults, here are no big stars, there are some five performers. Okay, very good. Please repeat the word policeman. Policeman. Very good. Okay, so as, uh, as you can remember, the keyword for number 10 is... Uh, it, okay. <laughs> does not pay much attention to which actors are in the film. So, it's here, no big stars, but there are some fine per performances. All right, so for this part, you've got one out of five, but it's okay. Um, do you have any questions for this part? Well, no questions. All right, now let's go to the next activity. What can you see in the picture? Oh, I can see a 
can do is uh, um, to fly uh, Australia. Mm -hmm. What? Can you please repeat that one? Look like a uh, look like a stranger. <laughs> yes, right. You are right. This is Australia. Okay, so for this part, we have questions number eleven to twenty. Okay, so you have to. In this part, you have to read a text or a brochure about uh, having a tour in Australia. And then um, you have to answer some sentences if it is correct or incorrect. Mark A for if it is correct and mark B if it is not correct. Okay, let's start. Oh, but first let's read the vocabulary. Iris? Hello? Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, please read uh, numbers one to five. Okay, I'm a nation. One more time. Accommodation. 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 Very good. Next one. Make gauge. One more time. Baggage. Baggage. Very good. This one. Departure. All right. Six creatures. Very good. And the last one. Brochure. Um. One more time, brochure. Brochure. All right, very good. Now let's go to the brochure. Okay, so I want you to please read this one. Okay, so this is box number one. This is two. This is three. Four. Five and six. Oh. Five. Okay, so start with number one. Number one. Flowers. We all saw you the very best of a trailer on a holy guy. Twenty two day tour. Okay, stop right there. Again, GlobeWise will show Globe you. Wise. Very good. We'll show you the very best of Australia. We show you the best, the very best of Australia. On a fully guided 22 day tour. On a fully guided 20 day tour. Okay, very good. How about number two? Well, only one for only 1985. Okay. Right, okay, Iris, please wait for a while. Um, we say 1940s when we talk about year, okay? But when we talk about an amount or price, we will say 1,985 pounds. This is a pound sign. Okay, can you please repeat that again? 1,985 1, pounds. For only 1,985 1, pounds. Very good, okay, proceed. For our price includes Scheduled price by a trailer, nation, national airline, contest from London, uh, Manchester to Perth, returning to, oh, I don't know how to read this word. This one? 
Yes. It's Melbourne. From Melbourne. After okay. arriving in Perth, a trailer flies between Perth, Alice Springs, Cairns, Sydney. Got from Sydney to Melbourne via Cabra and Amory. And Apple. An airport transfer in Australia. Nothing nice accommodation in a good, in good way. Hotels with one honey, little breakfast. They trip to a a year's crock with a full day. Area with bus trip. A visit to an Australian slip. Station and city study seeing tours in Perth, Alice Spring, Sydney, Canberra, and Melbourne. I stay a local hotel, hotel package, hand, handling experience, what was to manage at our stage. Of the okay, very good. Now I want you to please repeat these words. Scheduled. Scheduled. Very good. Next one, Melbourne. Melbourne. Via. Via. One more time, via. Via. Very Vaya. good. Very good. Next, continental. Continental. Boat trip. Boat trip. And the last one, Texas. Texas. All right, very good. Now I want you to proceed with number three. Number three, you can purchase 90 pounds now to be sure now to be sure of your place on this. On this one and popular touring holiday next year. There, the pressure is right through the year. We make sure you can you see the very best of everything which Australia has to offer. Okay, very good. Now, number four. Number four, past wonderful long golden beaches, golden beaches, super. Restaurant serving a popular food in the life home. Surrounding lush green parks and the beautiful Swan River. City sightseeing tour in Cold Alice Spring. Fly over the outback to pretty much Alice Springs in the heart of our country. Concessing tour. See flying doctor at base and gone up the air. Eight years for fly to Yulaira National Park, which is the mysterious August and Air Rock. What if it is help and our planner rock painting fly on the lovely seaside to seaside town of Paris and relax in the sun. Right, Mary Griff will include a full day work trip on the famous cliff, cliff with a drink to see amazing brightly, color fish and other sea creatures. Sydney. You'll love the excitement and build one of Australia's biggest city. We'll include a sightseeing to tour and a visit to the famous Opera House. You can also book a day trip to the Blue Mountains, Melbourne. Melbourne. Oh, I can see the 
Oh, you cannot see. Okay, for a while. Okay, how about now? Oh, it is still crazy. Still, you can you can see. Still crazy. How about now? Not. That one. Still fuzzy. It's very fuzzy. Fuzzy and blurred. Uh, fuzzy and dark works. Okay, it's okay. Um, let's just proceed to. To number five. Can you see number five? Box five. Box oh, five. Oh, yes. Okay. Sora for this year, booking now for next year. Okay, and box six. Box six. Turn us on. All one, three, all three, six. Nine two one five four. Coaching re reference nine hundred or three hundred ninety eight for our new phone color for sure. Our office are open Monday to Friday nine a.m. to eight p.m. Saturday nine p.m. to four p.m. for sure. Request. On um, only Sunday, 9 p.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, great job. Now, do you have any questions before we answer the the activity or the test? Oh, no question. Okay, now let's go to the... Ta-da! Okay, so number 11. If you start, okay, okay. Can you please read? If you start your holiday on April first, you will turn, you will return on April nineteenth. Okay, so is it correct or incorrect? A or B? Uh, B. B. Okay, number two. I mean, number twelve. But when we turn slides are from Melbourne, um, uh, A. A? Yeah. Oh, for a while, I will let you see the underlined. Mm. Hey. Okay, wait for a while. Oh, no. For a while, Iris, okay. It's hanging. Oh my gosh. Hello, Iris. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, my laptop is hanging. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I will try to... Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, do you have a Skype account? What? Skype account. S Skype account? Yes. 
I have. Can we do the class on Skype? Yes. Okay. Uh, I will take a photo of my mother account for you, Mikara. Uh, he is he, my mother's laptop. In your mother's laptop. Okay. Yeah. But um, we are almost halfway through this class. And if I restart my laptop, um, the recording for our class will be deleted. What? Okay. Okay. Um, let me contact first the admins of Pantado. Iris, I will be right back, okay? Hello? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Iris. Oh, Hello? Iris? Iris? Still I'm there? Yes? Can you hear me? Uh, can I take a photo of my mother account to you now? <laughs> 